Now to the coronavirus, where a local doctor told us today he's linked 50 positive cases to the beaches crowds over the past two or three days. A group of friends say they got sick after visiting a popular bar. Hmm. Florida's COVID-19 case total is now well over 82,000. That's over 2,600 from yesterday. Jacksonville now has 2,194 confirmed cases. That's an increase of 162 cases in two days. And there is concern in Jacksonville about more people potentially being exposed since the city has reopened. Governor Ron DeSantis is rejecting the notion the state is experiencing a spike in cases despite more than 14,000 residents testing positive in the past week. As Jake Stofan tells us, the governor plans to go full steam ahead with reopening and is rejecting calls to impose mandatory safety precautions. Governor Ron DeSantis attributes the 15-day streak of over 1,000 daily cases to increased testing. We're not shutting down. The state is conducting about 30,000 a day. As you test more, you will see more cases. He also says hotspots are largely isolated to certain industries like agriculture. When you have a virus uh, that disproportionately impacts one segment of society, to suppress a lot of working age people at this point, um, I don't think would likely be very effective. But a caravan of protesters Wednesday believes the governor has a role to play in ensuring adequate protection for workers. Workers need to be protected on the job, and we are seeing in certain industries statewide and nationally uh, that protection has been pretty lax. On Tuesday, a group of physicians called on the governor to mandate face masks in public places. Just a few hours later, he shot the idea down. We should be trusting people to make good decisions. Um, you know, Floridians have shown they can do that. Dr. Ron Saff says the governor's argument reminds him of when people protested seatbelt laws. And I suspect some of those people are the same ones that are fighting the, the mask idea, it makes good sense to wear a mask, just like it makes good sense to wear the seatbelt. And while daily case numbers have set multiple new records in the past week, the overall positivity rate in the state remains below 6%. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, The Local Station. Florida Democrats have criticized the governor's dismissal of the spike in cases. Florida Commissioner of Agriculture Nikki Freed issued this statement saying, quote, Governor DeSantis has lost control of Florida's COVID-19 response. His policies are simply not working, and he's recklessly reopening Florida, despite the data screaming for caution.